Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with no more power to weep. No more power to weep. You know sometimes you can cry and cry and cry and cry until you draw the line and says, okay, I'm not going to cry anymore and that's it. So in 1 Samuel chapter 30 from verse 1 to 4, we find a very powerful story over there. And the Bible says David had gone out with his men of war and they had gone and left their wives and their children at a particular place, Ziklag. And the Bible says that is when the um, Amalekites came and they found that David had gone to raid uh, other nations. They also raided his, his camp and took away his wives and his children and uh, they took away everything. Now, the Bible said, I I'm particularly intrigued by the fact that, look at what they took. They took the wife and the children. So, now the wives were the womb, that is the ability to be fruitful. One way or the other, Amalekites came for their ability to be fruitful. And also they took their children, that was the future. So they took away fruitfulness and they took away the future. That is the future of David, they took them away. And that is what happened. And the Bible said that when the men came and they saw their wives and their children, I mean, uh, vanished like that. Well, they joined Bob Marley and the Whalers. I mean, they started crying and every one of them was a man were weeping and, and David also joined in the sorrow and, and, and in the pain and in the weeping and, and they were uh, uh, crying and they were crying and they were crying. And then the Bible says, now they were crying and the Bible says, and David had no more power to cry. Cried and he didn't have any more power to cry. And then when he didn't have any more power to go, he said, I'm not going to cry anymore. He got up and the Bible said he asked for an effort and put on an effort. That's a priestly garment and said, I'm going to pray. I'm going to seek the face of God. I'm going to intercede. I ain't going to cry anymore. I'm going to do something about it. Are you aware that sometimes there are some issues that lands you in the valley of despondency or places uh, the shackles of despair around your neck and places the shackles of, of discouragement around your hands and so that your shoulders begin to droop. The weight of discouragement hangs heavy upon your shoulders and your weight begins to droop in, in despair, despondency and discouragement. And some of these things, I mean, I said that sometimes there's no energy you get it and you don't even know what to do all you keep doing is crying all you you keep doing is bemoaning the moment of bemoaning the issues all you keep doing is just raising the tears and every time you think about it you're you're, in cry, you're crying you're crying you're crying but you know the bible says david came to a place where he drew a line and said i can't cry anymore so you have to make a decision i won't cry anymore and instead of crying, I can do something better with this. I can begin to pack up my prayer uh, uh, platform. I'm going to stand on my prayer platform. I'm going to seek the face of God. And when David began to do that, began to pray and seek the face of God and ask God, should I go after them? Am I going to recover? And God said, you go after them. You will without fail recover all. So can I tell you something? Some things are not totally lost. The God we serve, he says, what the canker worm and the palmer worm and the caterpillar have destroyed and what they have eaten, I will restore. And God is the God who, of restoration. So you know what? Why are you still crying over the issues of yesterday? Some of them are not totally lost. Some of them are not chapter, some of them are not chapter full stops. Some of them are not bookcase closed. But these are rather something different that you can do something about. And God will want you to raise up prayer. And God will want you to raise up a cry. Cry unto the God of Israel. Cry unto the God who sits in the heavenlies. Cry unto the God who sits upon the circles of the earth. And holds the, uh, the, the beams of the heavens uh, uh, in, in the palm of his hand. He holds the, the, the waves and the seas in the palm of his hand. He lays his beams upon the chambers of the water. That is the God we are talking about. And instead of crying and instead of raising up your hand in despair. And saying I can't do anything about you 
can do something about it. You can recover it all. You can recover the finances that are gone. You can recover relationships that, that you thought are lost. You can recover them. And you can recover certain things that, say, your child is not lost. And the things that are going awry in your house or in your home or in, in your business, or whatever, you can recover it all. You're not going to feast at the table of loss forever. And it, it is up to you to draw the line and say, enough is enough. You got to reach a place where you say, I won't cry anymore. I won't cry anymore. Well, yeah, I know what I'm talking about because I've been there. And then I said to myself, okay, don't you get tired crying? Yours is always the, uh, the, 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 the wet eyes, the weeping eyes. No. The Bible said, and they had no more power to weep. It has to come to a place where you're tired of crying. Draw the line and raise up your hand of prayer. Raise up those drooping shoulders. Stand tall in the presence of God. Storm the gates and present your petitions before him. Lay out your case before God and ask him to step in. And I'm very sure of this. He answers prayer. And you might be surprised that recovery of what you thought was lost is right at your door. The only thing God wants you to do is don't look at the situation in despair anymore. Look at the situation with an idea that there is a power to to recover them all. This is what you do. You know what? You ain't get tired of crying? Well, I am. So no more weeping.